When they tell you a scary story, you always have the comfort that it is fiction, and it doesn't have to happen in reality. But when you hear a true story, the relief of you. Who can say you won't be the next victim whose story ends up on the news? The story of the Russian couple, Natalia and Dmitry Bakshiva, went around the world, and now they are known as the cannibal family. It all started about 20 years ago, when they began to commit murders and then eat their victims. This extends to 30 people, and do not think they ate the meat raw. They would be cooked it and even used it to make pastries they would later sell. Nandoni even called herself a chef, and later got a job as a cook. They also claimed to be a meat supplier. At first they lived on the grounds of a military academy, since Natalie worked as a nurse. All the people around trembled just thinking that they could have eaten a human flesh. The most curious thing about this case is how they were discovered. One day Dimitri lost his cell phone in the street, and a construction worker found it. He looked at the gallery and saw photos in which there was something like a head and a hand. It's also said that there was one where the murderer posed with the cops. Because of the photos, the worker handed the phone to the police. And hours later, they showed up at the couple's house. They couldn't believe what they saw. There were human remains stored in Ken's kept in the freezer. They also had 19 thin slices and seven bags with human body parts hidden in the fridge. They also discovered the videos that the couple recorded while cooking the bodies. They explained the recipe as if it were a cooking video. And then there were photographs showing a head surrounded by tangerines with olives in the eyes and a lemon on the nose. The investigators managed to identify seven of the victims. But they don't rest to find out who were the others, who died at the hands of the cannibal family since 1999. At the trial, Natalia recognized photographs of more than 30 women who had disappeared. The police can't figure out how they could commit so many crimes without even being suspicious. The answer is not in the care with which they treated the murders, since it was nothing scrupulous. Maybe their eccentricity made them go unnoticed but not the smell that came out of their house. Dimitri had a very troublesome child. When his adoptive mother died, his father threw him out of the house, and before leaving he burned his room. He also had a great history of theft, and of course Natalie didn't change him for the better. If this has really, really disgusted you, they gave us a super like. And if you wonder what would have happened if Dimitri never lost his phone, then subscribe. Those are the stories of cannibals you know. Until the next video.